Ray Evernham tells his driver, Jeff Gordon, five laps to go. Goes away, back into turn one, hugging the inside of the racetrack with Bobby Labonte, a car length behind him. Mayfield rides along in third now, then Ken Schrader in fourth. Fifth is Rusty Wallace. The battle is going on for the sixth spot. Oh, and now Rubble off the third. One car slides down to the inside of this late speed. He makes contact with John Andretti. Both cars spin down to the inside of the racetrack as everyone else gets away. This is the race for the win of the Daytona 500. Fields in three. Earnhardt swings up to the top of Brick Mass. The left car on the bottom of the racetrack. Dale Earnhardt puts on the block. Earnhardt slips off turn four. Back to the checkered flag. Earnhardt in front of Bobby Labonte. A left car to the inside. Rusty Wallace makes that Mayfield and Labonte banging for second to the strike. Dale Earnhardt comes to the white flag and the caution flag. And Dale Earnhardt is going to win the Daytona 500 in his 20th try. It'll be Earnhardt coming to the strike, finally eluding the one prize in NASCAR racing that has eluded him the most over his illustrious career. Quickly, let's give you the top five. Earnhardt will win. Bobby Labonte will finish second. Running third should be Jeremy Mayfield. Kenny Schrader, what a move he made with about five laps to go up there to get himself in contention to win, but he settles for fourth, and Rusty Wallace make up the top five as they cross the stripe under the checkered flag, making it official, and Dale Earnhardt has won the Daytona 500.